All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to take data in a CSV file and move it into SQLite. <clears throat> SQLite is a database um, that you can have here. And so I've downloaded DB Browser for SQLite, and this helps visualize the database. Uh, and it'll put it on all the data here. And so what we want to do is we want to take this over here on the Excel and move it into this database. So we're going to start by importing a couple things. I'm going to import pandas. I'm also going to import CSV and uh, SQLite 3. And so uh, these have to be installed on your computer. <coughs> and there is documentation out there to download those. Uh, if you just Google those, you'll find uh, instructions on how to do that. So the first thing we want to do, is we want to read on the, the things on the CSV and move them into a pandas data frame. So we're going to do that with uh, DF data, data frame equals pd.read CSV. We're going to have two parameters here. File path or buffer, this is going to be the place where your CSV is located on your computer. So for us, it is located <clears throat> I located it on my desktop here, so I'm just going to copy this. Uh, let's see, let's do that. All right, well, I'll just type it out here. So, users. All right, so that's the location, and then what's the name of it? Book1.csv. And the second parameter, header equals, and this is going to define. Uh, we're telling it which columns are headers and which one is, is data. And so when we say zero, we're telling it that the first row is um, header data. That's what we're going to put there. In the next couple sections, I'll um, stop the video when I write this um, code above it. But just for the first one here, I want to explain what's going on. So. For the first line here, I've, I've commented this out and just sort of given a description of what's going on in the code below. And then I'm also going to print a little statement saying what's going on that'll print to our terminal. So uh, for this, I do print and then I got the um, uh, commas or uh, parentheses. <clears throat> and then we're going to do, uh, for the first part, I'm going to do forward slash in. And what that's telling it is a line break. So Everything's spaced out in the terminal. Uh, and uh, then right after that space in, we're going to say uh, what we want it to say. So um, I'm going to say here converting CSV to data frame. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put print data frame. And so what we should see is when we print this, we're going to see this line here. And then right below it, it should print the um, CSV data that we had into uh, pandas data frame. So there we go. So that's the dates there in that column. Uh, we have the numbers and then uh, we have the text column as well. And over here is an index and uh, this just numbers our rows beginning from zero and uh, going down. So now that we've got that into the pandas data frame, what we want to do is connect to the SQLite database. And so to do that, we're going to Use uh, connection equals SQLite three dot connect, and then in the com uh, parentheses, we're gonna define where we want the database in our computer. And so uh, for me, it's gonna be we're gonna do it in the exact same spot. So users. And so this is the, the desktop location on my computer. Um, for you, you'll have to change this to whatever it is for your computer. And then right after desktop, we're going to um, define what we want to call the um, database. So I'm just going to name this uh, a test db. All right, so I'm going to run this. And um, what's going to happen is if we don't have one already created, it will automatically create a blank database in the uh, file folder that we've specified here. 
So I'm going to come over here and we're just going to observe that as I run this. And I'm going to run it. I can see it created that database right there. So we can open this. See that it's been created and it's uh, completely blank. The final part is now that we've brought in the CSV to the pandas data frame and we've connected to SQLite, now we want to take the data in the pandas data frame and put it into the SQLite database. And so to do that, we're going to do, uh, we're going to refer to our data frame, so data frame dot, we're going to use two SQL. And you can just go here to the documentation and we can see uh, this is the uh, line item and it's got the uh, parameters right here listed. And so uh, we, can, we can go through these and, and read about them. But the ones we're going to use are, um, we're going to use four of these. We're going to be using uh, the name up here and this is going to name the, the, the name of the table. And inside of the database, that the name of that table will be listed right here in this drop down. <clears throat> we'll also be using connection, and that's going to just uh, connect it to our database if it exists. And so we're saying if uh, we run this and the database existed and we already have a table in there with the same name, what do we want it to do? So we can choose one of these three. It's pretty self explanatory. <coughs> And the final one is uh, what do we want, what type do we want our data to be? So uh, in our Excel file, we have two different types where right? we have uh, text on one column and then we have numbers on another column. And so if we come here on SQLite, we can see the types of, of data that we can have. And there's five defined ones here. And the, one, the only ones that I ever use are uh, real and text and so those we're going to define uh, the, the string items the the words as text and then we're going to define the numbers as real so back over here I'm going to put a uh, thing name equals I'm going to name this uh, table one Our con is going to equal our connection right up here. If it exists, you can go ahead and replace the, the table. And I said four types. We're also going to use a fifth here because uh, we don't want an index in there. So we're going to say we're basically going to turn off the index. If we don't specify anything, it'll automatically put one in there. So we turn that off. And then our D type. So it's going to default to um, text uh, if we don't tell it anything. So if we have text that's going in there, we don't need this parameter. But um, since we have numbers, we want to specify uh, what it is. So we're going to do a little squiggly brackets here. And then we're going to define each column. So uh, our first one, I'll have to go back and look. Uh, let's see. Our first one is dates. So we're going to use dates here. And that's going to be um, real. Second one is numbers. And that might be case sensitive. It's also real. And then our text is going to be text. And we want to put those in strings as well. All right, so I had a typo here, D type. And so now I'm going to run this and we're going to see how it looks over here in the database. All right, and so there it is. And so we've got everything in here. Now let's go over and look see what the data types are. You can see that we've got text for the text and then uh, real for dates and the numbers. The very last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close the connection. Uh, we're going to save it first. Close.connection.commit will save it. And then connection.close will close the connection. 
to the SQLite database.